The heavyweight division, I would have to say right now, is probably the deepest it's ever been uh, as far as quality opponents. Roy Nelson, who I think is a pain in the ass for everybody to want to fight, you know. Uh, Mirko Krokop is retiring from the division, and I still think he's actually a pretty viable, dangerous guy. Obviously, Nogueira's out there. Brendan Schaub's a young gun coming up. And that's not to mention then you have Shane Carwin, Cain Velasquez, JDS, who are top flight guys, obviously one, two, three in the world. You know, Brock Lesnar, now you have Alistair Overeem. Right now, you have a who's who of the uh, MMA world in the heavyweight division. I think the only advantage I have going into it is the fact that uh, he knows if he loses again, it's two to the same guy, and that makes it very hard to get a third. Um, so I think that puts a little out of pressure on the opponent, the guy coming off of the loss. The other part, though, as far as the guy coming off the win, the disadvantage is that uh, you can find yourself getting complacent. It's not con you know, real conclusive where the guy who won the first time always wins the second time. In fact, it's kind of a coin toss, to be honest with you. But somehow that, that victory almost kind of makes you uh, you know, uh, it takes away that edge in training where you're vicious about it. The reason why I didn't fall victim to that, I think, is because of the fact of all his fan base saying that, you know, he was injured and he had staff or, or whatnot. I think has added a little bit of fire into me to where even after having the win, I just wasn't satisfied enough with that win, and I'm looking to go ahead and have an even more devastating win uh, on Saturday. I just still do prefer submissions. Knockouts, I think, you know, are great, and I love to be able to strike people and use that as a finish. But with a the submission, there's something more personal about strapping on to somebody and locking on a hold, and that individual then has to uh, admit defeat. You know, people get caught, and it's one of those things like they don't know until afterwards. You kind of wake them up and go, hey, man, you got caught with a shot. It's like, ah, oh, are you serious? With submission, you know that it's coming and you're in it, and you have to kind of make that decision on uh, when you want to quit. Having my family with me is very important just because I've kind of tried to look at the, the model that people had when the family values were the strongest. I love having my wife and my kids with me because it makes me feel very grounded and, and, and it keeps me in perspective. If you surround yourself with too many people that are fans of you, they don't see you for who you really are, then it kind of distorts your perception too. My kids see me as dad, my wife sees me as the husband who left his you know, wet towel on the floor and got yelled at this morning about. <laughs> I'm a martial artist. And I love to train and, and, and fight and compete because it expresses who I am. I and mean, I have to put myself in the toughest competitions possible. I think uh, some people shy away from that. They'll train in the gym and say that they're training, you know, street-oriented self-defense or whatnot. But they don't want to put themselves in situations where they could be bleeding and could be tired and, and could lose and get, you know, and, and get mangled around and have their ego bruised. They're not really testing themselves. They'll never know who they are. I feel bad for them. Uh, it's a depressing life. In my life, I get to test myself all the time and I smash my soul apart and I get to break around the pieces and work on it and build on it and I get to make myself a better person because of it.